Thanks. I'm really trying not to put heat in my... Oh, sorry. My mic wasn't on. Can you guys hear me? Um, I'm trying not to put heat in my hair because I've been, like, doing it a lot lately. And I don't want to, like, fry my hair too much or, like, cause breakage. So I'm trying to just... My hair is naturally this curly. Like, look how curly it is. Like, these are my natural curls. So I'm trying to just... And plus, we're going to switch it up for the stream later today, so I didn't want to, like, style it one way and then another way. But thank you guys so much for coming. This snuck up on me. So we have so much gaming press to cover today, which I am very excited to cover. Um, and thank you so much for watching and observing and viewing and entertaining every aspect of these videos. Uh, today, we are going to watch the IGN X Xbox presentation. Also, shout out to IGN. Please hire me because uh, you guys did put out applications like a month or two ago, um, and the replies were blown up with Nemesis Network stands. So I would like to be added to the team, and I would be a great addition to your little team of press people for these events. So we're going to cover this show, and then we're going to hop over to some fighting games news. There was Street Fighter and Tekken, and we're going to discuss and dissect all of that after. That'll be a separate video if you're watching on YouTube. It'll be separate from this one. Um, but we're going to cover all of this gaming news today. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it's a good show. Really snuck up on me. So very last minute. I'm sorry not watching it. We're not watching it like live live. Because I was going to take the day off. But um, yeah. Uh, don't really have anything else to plug besides support the channel. Subscribe. Donate if you can, drop a tip if you can, because usually a lot of my entertainment factor is swearing, and then I can't monetize the YouTube videos. So if you like the doll and her content, make sure you're supporting. But anyways, let's get into the show, shall we? And I don't want to hear anything these gentlemen have to say, because they, for whatever reason, spoil it, like, right before... Like, usually they talk way too much right before. So is this the roster of the IGN? Like, are these IGN people? Are these going to be my colleagues? Hi. ID at Xbox is finally here. IGN and Xbox teamed up to bring you an exclusive look at some of the most exciting upcoming indie games in a showcase jam-packed with new trailers, never-before-seen gameplay, and more. Followed by a special episode of IGN's weekly Xbox show, Podcasts Unlocked. Hi, hi IGN friends. Um, I have a lot to offer and I'm very entertaining. I do drag a lot. I have a mother that is very supportive. I'm also a mother of two children. I need to feed my family. If you're watching on Twitch, you're going to get hit with an ad very soon. Look at this cute little platformer. What is this? You guys know I love a cartoon platformer. I hope all these games go to Game Pass the day of. Do I multi-stream? No. Well, if I said mother of twinks, that would be weird because I'm attracted to twinks and I'm not about that. I don't live in Alabama, so. Oh, no, I do not, do not. My computer can't take it. If I could. I would, but my computer would blow up. Oh, wow. The kind of a hot drop about that. Oh, it's from Tiny Build. Oh, that's so cute. I have some friends at Tiny Build. Shout out to Tiny Build. They make great games. They make great games. And they have one of the best booths usually at PAX. Hello, and welcome to the 2024 I Did Xbox Showcase live on IGN. 
We just kicked things off with a brand new look at Aster Blade of the Monolith. It's so are they the first of many awesome games we'll be checking out today. We're going to be showing off a ton of great indies that will be making their way to Xbox and PC in the near future. What I would wear my attire, I'd be in a green gown. I would be in a rhinestone green gown to the floor with a green nail on. Exactly. Maybe um, I would put like black extensions in my hair. I, for any of these shows, I would literally put like $300, $400 into my looks. Like, I would literally go all out. Like, it would be serious. Like, I'd wear custom. I would wear custom. Please hire me, IGN. Please, for the love of God. I've never wanted anything more. Please. your controller and go on epic raids in increasingly difficult regions. Your goal is to fight and survive together with as many players as possible in each region. There are plenty of ways to cooperate. Mama, Party Alien Animals is on PC, is it not? That's where I have it. Revive one mother. Only together will he eventually unlock the essential. <gasps> You're green! Then, with your allies, ascend to the region's final arena and challenge that region's massive boss. The first rule to success bring with you as many players as possible. This looks like those Lucifer games that like Hades people enjoy. Is Brutal. You, what are these games called? They're called like fighting together is um, the key to defeating Lucifer. If there are 33 rogue like that will give you the best chance at victory. But don't despair if there are fewer. Fortune favors the bold. Second, avoid his deadly attacks. Frozen hate, last betrayal, and it's time to deal unavoidable. Hi, everybody coming in. Happy to have you all here. You're caught in the How's everybody doing? Fight. Third, know your weapons. No, I think they're called roguelike games, like these type of games, like this and Hades and Dota and. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, stick together and cooperate. Use your co-op powers wisely. Your group's collective strength is essential to defeating our powerful boss and unlocking. Is this? There's no way this is a three-hour show. I think it's like the after show as well. Tougher bosses. More to come on those new regions and bosses real soon. I also didn't know this was happening today, but if if I was on the IGN team, I would let y'all know. That lets you squat up with oh, that's no shade. I'm just saying I like to, I'm very active online. Exactly, 32 friends. It's weird that you counted, but I'm happy for you. I guess it sounds like I'm about to have 31 friends, Kim. Hey guys, come on, roll. You can have 32 if you hire me. Some pals. <laughs> Well, yeah, so much for the surprise. Anyway, here's what's next for Power World. Oh, Power World update for you, Power World stands. Where's Leshy Poo? Where's Leshy Kins? Hi, safety. The way this was the top selling game on. The whole controversy about this game was wild. Like, oh yeah, don't make a new game and copy from a billion dollar company. Don't bully the billion dollar company that's Pokemon. Oh, oh. Give me a break, girl. Oh, don't bully the billion dollar people. Oh. Shut up. And also, how do you know that it, they copied them directly? It could just be in, it, like, yeah, the designs are similar, but like, what if they just really like Pokemon and they want, what if they just appreciate Pokemon that much? It's very unlikely, but. It's also just like, just play the silly video game. It's okay. The world isn't gonna end. Unless it's Hogwarts, never play that game. I was going through old clips and there was a clip show when we were watching the shows and Hogwarts came up and I spoiled the entire end of the game. <laughs> I had the copy pasta. Iconic. I need to figure that out, which show it was in. I think it was the Nintendo Direct where that um, one of me screaming like Toad is, but that's multiple Nintendo Directs. Oh, this is giving Baldur's Gate from Sheen. Sorry. <laughs> it 
If I'm on, if they hired me, would I have to be nice about every single game? We put the live reactions behind a paywall. <laughs> I agree. Well, it's not like I'm like s screaming at these developers to like die or whatever. I'm like, I just, it's not my tea. They're probably not gonna hire me though. They probably already hired someone. So it's whatever. I'm just glad you guys love my content and support me. That was beautiful the way we supported me on the timeline. Like cute next to gorgeous. Hi Skinny Cryptid. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, not the Dan Schneider cameo with the feet. I'm watching season two of Korra. There's lots of feet in there. The Dan Schneider get in the studio did not enjoy that. Nickelodeon that era, it was very weird to me. Very weird, I didn't like it. I didn't, I did, no, no. I look like that. That's how I feel the fifth day in. That's how I feel right now. Fifth day in a row in drag, putting contacts in every day. That's me. <laughs> oh. The abrupt cut of that one trailer? Is it over? Oh. Oh no, that was what it was supposed to. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is my real hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need that audio clip. The way Maddie Morphosis goes, oh, okay. <laughs> it gets me every time. I'll soon be flying away too. I love the resurgence of skateboarding games in this era. There's a lot of cute skateboarding games. Rude. Oh, Ethel Kane, you will always be famous. My cousin used to hang out with Tony Hawk. It was a dark time. Hi, Billy. This is Swan Holloway. I like when you guys come into chat with easy usernames. Sometimes people will walk in and it's like, up three, 34, fire, pa pa 93. And I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to say that? <laughs> Now see, I can say that's super color fragilistic. Expiala Dosha, 69420. See, clock that IGN. I can say that word flawlessly. Oh, boobs. Oh, you can't see her. She's behind me. She's got big boobs. Bazongas. <laughs> Nem's British boy, if so true. <laughs> My British twink! I got a category for every twink. The twink army rises!
I know, you're not really that much of a twink. I just say that as a term of endearment. Am I gonna get demonetized for this music? like a lovely $20 game. Them versus 2D games. There's like literally maybe like three or four 2D games I like. We just got If you can name them in the chat, I would be shocked. And we got brand new looks at Commando's Origins, Centum Lost Record, Bloom and Rage, and Key Locker right here on ID at Xbox live on IGN. We're only just getting started here, and we have a ton more indie game trailers and gameplay to check out. But be sure to stick around after for a live episode of IGN's weekly Xbox show, Podcast Unlocked. But right now, we need to take a quick podcast break, plug. Around I have a Xbox podcast too. Triple Threat available on Spotify and YouTube. ID at Xbox is presented by Xfinity. Stay ahead of the game with Xfinity's blazing fast speeds and smooth low lag connection. The Cinefix Top 100, a list so secretive even we don't know what movies. Did are you see that? Where they rank? I saw Lord of the Rings. Each episode will reveal one of the movies. Did I rush it? Felt like I rushed. That was good. I liked it. Talk about why it belongs and finally find out where it ranks. Are you not entertained? Are any of the movies we've shown here even on the list? I have no idea. Honestly, you know what I think about a lot? How do these like big companies like this video, right? There's no way they didn't monetize this video. How are they getting the money if some of the content they put out, they can't monetize? Like those clips from those movies, I doubt they have the rights to show those. You know what I mean? How are they monetizing it? But I get demonetized for having my gay ass in the thumbnail. Like what? Behind every game, movie, and TV show you love is a wild, crazy, and sometimes unbelievable story. The League of Legends no, cameo? From was. revealing the secrets behind your favorite franchises to solving a legendary video game mystery, I'm coming for you. IGN Inside Stories gives you a peek behind the curtain. If people come to the game now and see what's going on there, I think they'll be surprised. Join us as we dive into hyper dedicated fan bases, worldwide phenomenons, and the most incredible Resident Evil 4. No, I'm not hungry. And entertainment. I said, wait a minute, that doesn't sound so good. It was definitely not what I expected in the best way. Madison. Inside oh. Stories, available now only on IGN. And I was like, when I interview her next yeah. time. Want the ultimate IGN experience? Check out IGN Plus. Members get exclusive deals and giveaways. Make sure you guys are signing up for this. Because if your girl, if, okay, I'm not even being dramatic. If they hired me, I guarantee you like a handful of you people would actually do this. <laughs> You'd be like, yes, I'm supporting the doll. I would do it. I would sign up. And best of all, free games. Thank you, Ryan. 30 days of IGN Plus for just $1. Head to plus.ign.com. Hey, do you like arcade card racers but wish there were more cards on the track? Like, I don't know, say 60 of them? Well, coming up, there's a game just for you. Not typically, like but sure. Party games, but wish that they made one that was only for adults and no kids allowed? Well, coming up, there's a game just for you. Do Not you like dancing, but you're also a violent person? Well, coming up, there's a game just for you. And do you like exciting world premieres that you've never seen before until now? <gasps> coming up, yes, there's a game just for you. If you answered yes to any or all of those questions coming up, there's a bunch of games just for you. The Jackie Cox cameo for you. Okay, this actually looks cute. 
this is oh my god you know what this is giving me it's giving me those old things back in the day remember those like fucking things you would do back in the day what were those things called the little tiny things you would collect and then plug them into your computer and then go online to the world oh my god only 90s kids will remember please somebody not hot wheels what are they called they're the fun funkies funkies this looks like funkies kart racing oh my god only 90s kids will remember, Mama. This is Funky's The Race Game. Down. I'm in. I'm sad. Imagine at the end of it, it's actually like, this is Funky's actually, girl. I'd gag. If they, if they, if they literally made, brought those back, Funky's to collect for this card game, I'm sold. I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I would do it. I would do it again. Sorry, this is my real hair. I was doing my cue impression. I gotta watch what I say because some of the fucking Drag Race girls just come into stream and they're tipping around. Yesterday, Lemon walked into stream and said, hey girl, what's the tea? Like. <laughs> God forbid I was talking about Drag Race Canada or something. <laughs> oh, Rhode Island. Hello? My Jackbox Naughty Pack. Oh. Do you like a girl that's clean? Or do you like a girl that's a little bit dirty? Remember I ate this once before. Please someone tell me you know the reference I just quoted. Y'all gotta get into the Drag Race Obscure References. Where's Lee? <laughs> Thank you, that was Ben Dilla. I'm Ben Dilla Cram. Lee's lurking, he was just here. I'm rewatching season three, and on season three of Drag Race, like, <laughs> Alexis Mateo is like really mad with her critiques on the show and she's like ranting and it sounds like they like cut it all together like this but she's like ranting and while she's ranting she goes I'm just the girl that's wearing the pads and the titties in the show <laughs> I'm just the girl that wears the pads and the titties in the show <laughs> The way she made up that storyline to win that challenge, like, that is my mother. It's giving Doom, but if it was in the art style of What the Golf. Anything notable? I'm um, a new Jackbox Party Pack game. I hate Jackbox, but happy for people that like it. I know, does Jackbox really need a part a naughty pack? Meanwhile, everybody in Quiplash is like, come titty milk. And it's like, I 
I just don't, I, I literally don't like Jackbox because like, well, first of all, every time I play it on stream, nobody respects the rules and does something inappropriate that could get us demonetized and in trouble. And then second of all, some of the jokes just don't land. And then what are you supposed to do? Fake laugh. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not funny. I don't really care. You just saw trailers for Stampede, Racing Royale, The Jackbox Naughty Pack, Time and Galaxy, and Sulphur. Four unique indie flavors that taste great together. Unless you try and play Wait, where's the world premiere? We saw that last time, one before. Which is not the recommended way to enjoy them. Yeah, we're always looking out for you here at the 2024 ID at Xbox Showcase. It's the least we can do. And now, more indie games. Wait, you promised me a never before scene. I've saw, I saw, I... I feel lied to. <gasps> oh my god, I met the people Hi, from this, this game! Production of massive damage. Oh my god, yay, I'm so happy this is in here. The developer of this game are so sweet. I met them at PAX, and they are some of the nicest people ever. Me and Marisol met with them. This game looks amazing. I'm very excited for it. This is my village here. This is where I manage my tribe. And where is there I multiplayer like, online? <gasps> and Shut and up. That's gaggy. I thought it was single player. Yeah, we way here. We live on a magical floating island. It's surrounded by... Work. But when I go to the underland below, that's when... When we play this together on stream, besties. The world of Fera is designed to be kind of a jungle gym for our aerial mechanics. Yeah, me and... Um, chain together moves of gliding. Me and Marisol, we got fake temporary tattoos from them, and then we talked to the developers, and they were like, oh my god, you guys are, like, so cool. Like your fighter jets. But right now, we're on a mission to track down a Grok Tux egg, which we've located here. This is going to involve us fighting a large Grok Tux, so you can see a little bit of how combat works. Our combat design also retains that aerial focus so love how fast pace it is attacks our monsters also attack you with elements and they support queer creators so we projects, stand which sort of test your mastery of Farah's aerial they're mechanics. very nice to us there were some addition, developers at PAX that were not very nice to two drag queens walking around even saw off craftable trophies mid-combat but as I mentioned today I am on a hunt for a grok tox egg so while my friends have him distracted I'm gonna go find it when the time is right, I'll be able to hatch the egg and I'll gain a new addition to my beast menagerie, who I can then bring into the Underland to help me out in all sorts of ways. So that's a little snippet of what makes up our game. If you like what you see and you want to find out more, give us a wish list and follow us at playfera.com. I think there are 20... Oh, it's coming this year. I remember meeting with them and they were like late 2024, 20, 2025. But I mean, take your time with it. It looks amazing. Very excited for that. I'm so happy that was in there. The developers were so sweet when I met them. And they're like a very small indie studio. So good for them. Very happy for them. Yoshi's Worldly World from Sheen. Don't order your Kirby's Epic Yarn from Timu. No offense, I would literally never play this game. This looks like literally so frustrating and annoying. Already more customizations than Mortal Kombat 1. Well, it's on Game Pass, so you don't have to waste your money buying that. Oop. We still have a ton more surprises up ahead right here on ID at Xbox and IGN. Can we tease one of them? Like, make fun of them in rude or mean ways? Like, spread a vicious rumor about them on the playground? I don't know why you'd want to do that to any of the this games. This guy's cute. None of them have Very handsome. anything to deserve that. After all, isn't teasing just a less mean version of bullying? I mean, tease one of the games we're going to show later, as in... In the show, reveal a part of a surprise, like a clue. 
You know what? Forget it. It's Vampire Survivors. We're going to show you new stuff coming to the hit game, Vampire Survivors. Does that work for you? Oh, yeah. It's way better. I love it. microphone is very crisp. Oh, I'm glad you two worked that out. Anyways, don't forget to stick around after the showcase for a very special ID at Xbox post-show edition of Podcast Unlocked, iGen's weekly Xbox show. But first, here's a whole bunch of upcoming indie games coming to Xbox, including one you can play today. Take a look. Oh, a hot drop? Drop it like it's hot. You'd have to rewatch the VOD, babes. I don't know what would interest you the most. There's been a couple. Well. Can you truly conquer the darkness? If it returns night after night, the formidable wardens of the north. This is a game of all time. Dark wings, feared not. Reminds me of Castle Crashers. Generation after generation, ready for that fateful day when the shadows will reclaim their bloody reign. Alas, we never have as long. Sorry, I just smacked my microphone. As Arlo, son of Eivor. Prepare to embark on an epic quest across the vast realms of the northern wastes to purge your lands of the darkness once and for all. I don't want to be shady, Estrogen Princess. I would, I would rather be very kind and alone. Support small businesses. Unite the disparate clans of the realm. Rebuild Winter's Edge to an all new glory and forge the very weapons of legend. Though remember, the stronger the light. I'm kind of mugged though today a little bit. The shadow. Anything good? Um. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Cammy. Um, not really, Lady Camden. Tales of Iron Two, Whiskers of Winter. Wish list now. So you want to hear about Hangry? Is this this Bioshock well, game that's been? Well, he's a hunter. Alona. Nope. Probably out there in the marshes right now trying to work off his debt to Chef Gutra. His appetite gets him in uh in place. Delta Zilla, thank you so much for three months and using your prime on me. Thank you, Diva. Henry got a hunt. Vicious beasts on dangerous worlds, keep his cravings under control, and get the cargo back here to Gutra's dining. The AI voice. A new spot in our shiny Zeta City. When you are in here. Keep a sharp eye on the goons hanging around. That that was AI. Did you just see that? So, watch what she eats. If you know what I mean. Not gonna lie, that does look kind of interesting to me because it kind of reminds me of like old school 2000 games because it's badly animated and made. Oh, but I don't know if that's intentional. Oh. My bad. My bad. I mean, I'm the market for that. So, oh. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. Can we go back? Oh, he's wearing slides too, it's over for me. Queen of Kings, thank you so much for coming in and dropping a follow. Welcome in. Hello? Ooh, that man is so hot. What is happening? I think we've lost the plot. You know what? I'm intrigued. Where did you get foot fetish? There's like mascot. I just said he's wearing slides. He was just in that bathtub. Did you just see the sex doll woman? Oh, she was mugged down. 
the gimp outfit? Oh, I'm I'm in. Okay, wait, I'm kind of gagged. This looks very fun. Wait, please tell me this is coming out soon because I'm actually so Oh, what the, uh, what the fuck? I need him. Oh. He's mine, everyone. Step off. What in the dang and rumpa? This corpse party. Tease. This actually looks kind of good. They got good tunes. So glad to be sleep deprived for this stream. I mean, how do you think I feel? I've been getting up and getting in drag for the last five days. Wait, what is this? The change? This is a different game, but this looks really cute. I love the art style. Oh. Oh, don't look, don't like that gameplay looking. Oh, those are four different games. Okay. Well, you maybe we should make that a little more. This being at the end, trying to gag me. Um, I'm okay. I'm not hungry. Available today. You have fun with that. That was a look at the upcoming indie games Tales of Iron 2, Hangry, Promise Mascot Agency, and a ton of upcoming releases. Promise Mascot from Agency Hammer is games. looking like it's the best thing from the show so far. Day one. The Rewinder is available on Xbox Game Pass as of, well, today. So keep an eye out for it. And coming up, a closer look at something Xbox is partnering with called the Ayayay Initiative. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Stream Yaya yeah, yeah, by Beyonce. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sure that doesn't really like roll off the tongue like Ayayay. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's an informative video to hopefully set the record straight. Oh. oh, Risk of Rain is getting a juicy update. That was such... Why was that two seconds? Risk of Rain is a very popular game. Can you go back? This Pal World PvP? These are important updates. Slow down! Sandrock's getting an update! Can... Can we slow down, please? I'm... I mean, I miss you, video girl. What in the fuck is that? Oh, that looks scary. This is really scary. I'm glad I have contacts on because before I would have never been able to see this. Mama, I'm putting the contacts in so fast nowadays, I put them right in. Boink! It's amazing. Actually, I put them in like this. They go right in. Slip it right in. I guess you could say my eye holes are loose.
I'm I'm glad I could watch, but I was that was a little too fast. Maybe I should rewatch that in like 0.1 speed. That was a look at some of the featured games from the Triple I Initiative, all of them coming soon to Xbox. Next up, we're checking out an action RPG that has players embarking on a nice, relaxing vacation in the Austrian Alps. My lovely vacations don't usually involve dungeons, personally, but who am I to judge? Let's do some sightseeing in Dungeons of Hinterberg. Excuse me? Not the art style and color theory I would have thought for something called dungeon. Oh, the Bob is moving. Do you see her Bob bouncing as she fucking walks? Oh, the Bob physics are correct. You better bounce that Bob, Miss Thing. Bouncy Bob. Give me the Lois Griffin. That's literally, wait, that's Lois Griffin. We got a Lois Griffin game, guys, look. Lois Griffin. Peter, they put me in a dungeon game where they do parkour, Peter. Peter, I got a new hairdo. I got my bob fixed up for you, Peter. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. That's literally Lois Griffin. You can book your trip to tour the Dungeons of Hyperborn today. It's now available for pre-order. Up next, most survival games require players to collect materials and harvest resources so they can craft stuff to defend themselves. This next one, not so much. In fact, you don't even have to push any buttons. We'll say that Here's for the Sabbath. The horrifying that is on Thursday this week. Vampire survivors, check it out. Make sure y'all are coming out to the Sabbath. We're celebrating one year as a T girl, and then. Two years Twitch partner, and you got a little party hat in the chat, which is very cute. It's our most ambitious yet. Hyper realistic holiday themed characters. Immersive door opening action. World premiere train mechanics. Have ever streamed in a Lois cosplay? Nar. Defining kart racing. But I would do that one scene where she has the giant titties. Laboratory update out now. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. going on I could never genuinely sit down and be like, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna use a couple hours of my life to play that. <laughs> this is not a 2D girl. What? This, still for this game? Still more? Oh, there you go, furries. Congratulations. And that's a wrap on this year's ID at Xbox Showcase, but we're not finished just yet. Although the showcase part of the ID at Xbox Showcase is coming to a close, that doesn't mean we don't have more to showcase you. That sounded weird. Either way, we showed you a bunch of awesome games today, but now it's time to actually play them. What and was weird about it? A deeper dive into some of the awesome Why games did it sound weird? ID at Xbox, Aster Blade of the Monolith, and Hangry, the ARPG that mixes food and violence. See, trailers are great, but we can't wait to show you how those games actually play. And after those game demos, be sure to stick around for our official Podcast Unlocked post show, breaking down all the biggest announcements, reveals, and trailers we showed you on Idea at Xbox today. Oh, and if 
you want to get your hands on some awesome upcoming games catch even more trailers hang out i have something to say but i'm not going to say it and check out new reveals from some of the biggest names in games and entertainment ign live is the place to be ign live is happening this june 7th through 9th at the magic box oh that's right they're having a lot like a live event can i go i'll go ign.com slash live for more info if and i got invited and before they're gone airfare i'll be there catered thanks for, for watching this year's id at xbox showcase now keep watching for more hangry after blade of the monolith and of course our podcast unlocked post show stick around wait i thought you said it wasn't over there was gonna be one more trailer id at xbox is presented by xfinity Stay oh. out of the game with Xfinity's blazing fast speeds and smooth low lag connection. Are we gonna see an Xfinity video game? Is that what's happening? Oh, okay. Oh, Grand the Grand Theft, Theft Auto. Auto 6. It's been a long and winding road leading to the biggest video game of all time, but it's still so far away. Trust? Trust. But don't worry, IGN has just the thing to pass the time until Rockstar turns us loose in Leonida, GTFM. A brand new original show all about GTA. Tune in what? for hard-hitting Grand Theft Auto 6 analysis. Who is Jason anyways? The internet's biggest and most oh. out there fan theories. I would make the argument that based on the universe, it's actually not Lucia. Interviews with the most infamous stars of past Grand Theft Auto games. I'm not hungry, but happy for you guys. Um, what a lovely showcase. Um, I really liked some of the indie games they showed, so I really am happy for that. But that's, um, I, I guess that's it. Um, a lovely, oh, the Hogwarts on my screen. Okay, we need to go back, please. No promotions. Um, looked very nice. I actually really liked a lot of the show. Um, it's just unfortunate that we didn't get any major releases, um, but I'm really excited for some of those indie games that I said along the way. Um, like that one open world one coming at the end half of 2024. I think indie games are really going to carry the end half of 2024 with a couple blockbuster games. But it's not looking very hefty for the second half of 2024. Like we have to really see what happens at Summer Games Fest. Which I'm so excited to stream with you guys when that eventually comes about. Uh, and hopefully we'll be an official co-streamer because we usually are. Um, and that's hosted by Jeff Keighley and, like, everybody that they do the Game Awards. It's, like, their half of the year. So, like, there's one in summertime and then there's one at the end of the year with the Game Awards. So those are kind of the blockbuster big shows. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and I hope we get some announcements there. But, yeah, I don't really know what's, like, going to come to that part of... the Like, we have still a lot to... Like, there's literally that Persona game and that's, like, it. Like, I do not know a lot. Like, we got so many games in the front half of this year. Like, Stellar Blade. We got, um... Final Fantasy, we got, um, what was the one that came out in January? We got Princess Peach, we got, um, Yakuza, we got, like, all of these games in the front half, but, like, nothing really happens after, like, from summer to winter. Like, there's a big gap that there's no releases, so, uh, interested to see how that turns out, but, um, if you guys like this video, make sure you're sharing, talking in the comment section, clipping moments and stuff, and, subscribing, tipping, um, just being a good friend of the pod, friend of the channel, and subscribing to the Nemesis Network Battle Pass. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, on Twitch, we're going to hop over to the Street Fighter and Tekken showcases, and we're going to discuss that. And if you want to watch those videos, they're going to be in a separate video. And just make sure you're watching and always supporting. What a lovely show. IGN, please hire me. <laughs>